Okay, so we just opened up our kit and this is what it comes with. I already know that I'm not gonna do the decorative glaze because everyone just says to skip that. And I've seen cabinets where they do have the glaze on there and I don't like it, so we're skipping it. Um, so this is step one, the deglosser, the bond coat, which is the actual color, and then the top coat. And then it also comes with some stir sticks, um, a couple pads to use as a deglosser, and then also these are just some cloths to also wipe off the deglosser as well. So let's get started here. Okay, so Andy already did this but he took off all of the doors on our cabinets. So we're extremely vulnerable now to everyone seeing all of our stuff. <laughs> okay, so then we put all the doors, we just use solo cups, but we put them all on tarps in our garage. And here's Andy using the deglosser. Basically, you just scrub it on along with the wood grain, and then you wipe it off once you're done, which is what he's doing. Looking good. Okay, now we move down to the inside, and Andy is deglossing the cabinets. Just go with the grain, and then you wipe it off when you're done. So, pretty simple. Good job, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're on to step two. Andy, really show the, the thing. Step two, the bond coat. So this is the color. So we're back to the doors. We are going to flip them over though and do the back side first because that's what was instructed. So we're just going to open that up. Okay, so here's our espresso color. It's dark as fuck. And now we're gonna just stir it up a little bit. The second step, the bond coat, which is the color. And doesn't she look beautiful? Just doing long strokes. This step is nice too because you can start to see the transformation. Uh, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. You can see the first one Monica did there. It's kind of hard to see in this dark lighting, but much darker. And, you know, it gives you an idea of what you're going to see. So. It's a really nice, rich brown. Unlike the color we have currently. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to give it a nice homey look, a little bit newer. A little bit more updated. Yep. Very nice. Okay, so it's day two, and this is what we got done last night. We were up until midnight, just doing the doors. It took a little bit longer than I thought thought it was going to but then again we started at like 8 30 so with that being said really doesn't take too long um so tonight we are putting on the first coat inside we didn't get to inside yet and then possibly flipping these over and putting a coat on the other side the front side um we decided to only do one coat on the inside, the inside layers, because, I mean, it already looks pretty dark and we don't really care enough about the inside to like keep, to like do a second layer. So it looks good enough. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. So today we're gonna flip those over and do the first coat on the front side. So I am just taping the inside of these 
because we're not going to do like the actual inside of the cabinets. We're just going to do like the outside frame. So that's why I'm taking off the inside here. Okay, it's end of day two, and we finished painting the first coat of the inside. And wow, what a difference. Right, Andy? Absolutely. Yeah. It looks so much better. Kind of looks black in the video, but it's definitely a dark, rich brown. Super nice. Okay, so. I didn't video day three, that was yesterday, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah, I didn't video day three because it was literally just painting the front side of the doors. And now we are currently doing the second, second coat of the inside, all of this. Andy's doing the light. But yeah, we are going to do top coat today too, hopefully and then the second coat on the doors. It's gonna be done. Okay, so we're doing step four technically now, but three for us, the protective top coat. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because it kind of bubbles up a little bit. And I don't know, like in the corners, I don't know if that's like good or bad, but I'm gonna go with bad. But if you just brush it, I'm not even showing this, if you just brush it, the bubbles will go away. So, doing a really bad job videotaping this. I can't video and paint at the same time. Okay, so it is now day five. Welcome. Um, we finished all of the painting yesterday so it took four days to pretty much do everything um so as you can see behind me everything's still not put back together but that's fine because that's what we're going to do today so today day five andy is going to put on the new hardware that we got um and then reinstall the doors and it should be done so andy is putting on the hardware show the hardware Beautiful. We got them on Amazon. 25 for 25 bucks. Love that. take his money all right so here is the finished product with the handles on and everything looks so much better 
Just beautiful. Andy did a great job. But so did I. Yes. Looks so good. It looks kind of black on camera, but like, I promise it's like a brown. Yeah. You can kind of see the brown. It's a dark brown. Whatever. It looks great. Yes.